Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I haven't been doing well at all recently, which is putting filming, basically doing anything on hold. Um, I feel slightly better today, so I really want to swatch my Odin's Eye palettes that I got, so that is what today's video is going to be. So I'm going to swatch this one first. This is the Flora Story palette with Odin's Eye. And it's a collab with Makeup Just For Fun. So this is what it oops, looks like. So I'm just going to swatch them on my hand and show you the shades. So the first one we've got, wow, look at that. I don't know if you'll see this as much. This one's called Dawn. Oh, do you see that? Do you see that reflection? It is very much, it's this shade here and it's got this gorgeous reflective glitter. It's like a topper, so it's got like a pinks and greens and golds in it. It's absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh, the weather is driving me nuts with the heat. Then we have, let's get them, just get them wipe out. I haven't had a chance to do any of this because I've just not felt well. The next one we have got is called Shroom. So this is a matte shade. Let me just swatch that on the back of our hand. And that's what that one looks like. Very nice. Then we're going into Magnolia, which is this one here. Oh, wow. So this is a gorgeous, like, purpley violet tone, which has got, like, bits of pink or purpley glitter in it with, like, silvery bits of glitter. So that's that one. Then we're going in to this one here, which is Sage. Mm -hmm. And that's that there. Very nice. And then the last one on the top row is called Lush, and it's this one here. Oh, look at that. That is lush, absolutely lush. Oh, wowzers. I can't wait to put these on my eyes because I've never tried Odin's eye formula. Look at that. Oh, is that not just a bit of jewelry? <laughs> okay, let me just wipe this off my eyes. Covered in glitter. Okay, let's go. What I'll do is I'll swatch the bottom row on my hand and then I'll show you them. I think that's the easiest way to do it. So the first one is a matte and it's called Clover. Then we've got Base Buds. I'll swatch that. Then we've got, what's that? Azalea. Oh, that's stunning. And then we've got Misty. <gasps> And then the last one is Orchid. Oh, that's so bright. Okay, so the, this is the bottom row. So we've got Clover. This one is called Best Buds, as in Rose Buds. This one here is Azalea. Then we've got a glittery one, which is called Misty. And then we've got the last shadow in the palette, which is Orchid. So that was all of this row swatched absolutely stunning and we cannot wait to put that all over our eyes and create some kind of a looks but i'll try my best to get it done this week it is the 12th of june as i'm sitting here just now but it's going to have to depend on how i feel on the day because i just like the weekend was a complete write-off for me. I have never felt ill like it. And I have been trying all day to get a hold of the doctor's surgery. And it just constantly keeps saying, your call is important to us. Please try later and all this stuff. And it's just like, I haven't got later. 
You wouldn't need to be dying, would you? Okay, and this is the newest one they've brought out. The, there is the stone and rock, and then there's the jewel one. And I just got this one at the moment. Again, it has got the names on the back. But it has also got the names on the palette. So we'll just go row for row. So what I'll do again is I'm just going, I'm absolutely covered in glitter <laughs> my hand. Covered in glitter. I'm just going to put them onto the back of my hand first and then we'll talk about them. Oh, wow, look at that. Normally I only want to swatch the shimmer shades because I'm really not a matte person at all, but... Okay, so this is the first row. So we've got, I'm probably going to butcher the names and I can't actually see them because, hold on a minute, I'm trying not to get the palette dirty. We've got Favour, which is this sort of white matte shade. The next one down is called Frenzy. And then this mustardy shade here is called Madness. I'll just make sure I've got it right. Yes, this gorgeous sort of sort of greeny colour, olive toned, is called Passion. And then we've got our darkest green, which is called Cheer. So that is this whole top row. Okie dokes. Seriously, look, my hand is like a glitter ball. I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> Okay, next row, we have got the shade Cheerfulness. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Lovely. Then we have got Exuberance, which is a mossy matte. Then we have got Gleefulness. Oh my goodness, which is more of a chunky sort of glittery shade. Cheerfulness. Then we have got Jubilance, which is your sort of brownie matte tone. This one here. Then we have this light headedness, God, I've had plenty of that over the weekend, which is this sort of nice bronzy shade, which is this one here. Is that not stunning? So that's the middle row. And then for the bottom row, we have got Dreamland, which is another, this shade here. So it's kind of a green, brownie undertone, I would say. Oh my God, this next one's going to be gorgeous, isn't it? High Spirits. Oh, do you see that shift? I don't even know if you are seeing that shift, but oh my God. Look at that. Now it looks green there. But see when I'm looking at it down here on my hand, I don't know if you can see it there. It's shifting from green to blue. It is gorgeous. Then we've got Elevated, which is your deep, deep, deep brown. This next one, oh my God, looks amazing. It's called Splendid. It's like a black with a, sh with a gold shimmer in it. So that one there, look at that, it's called Splendid. And then the last one we have got is called Passage, which is just a really deep, deep black. Absolutely gorgeous. I definitely am looking to pick up the other palette, um, but I couldn't afford to get the three palettes together. And I really wanted the Flora Story one. <laughs> look at the statement, because I just really love the colour story of it. Um, but what do you guys think? Have you ever tried any Odin's Eye? Is this making you want to? If you're like myself and the reason... Just get more silly water. If you're like myself and the reason you were dubious to ever try them, especially if you're in the UK, is because of customs charges. I never got any customs charges. So I'm absolutely chuffed about that. And it didn't take ages to arrive either. Apparently, what how they do it is they're a Swedish brand. 
I will double check on that, but I'm sure that's right, the information, a Swedish brand, but they ship their stuff uh, through China. So it comes like, you know, when you order stuff from Shein and that, for example, you know, it comes that way and you don't get customs charges on Shein and that. So I am absolutely chuffed two bits and it's worth being covered in the glitter. I also might as well swatch my blusher from them. So this is the Solomain Sunlight Love Blusher in Peach Gleam. Now the packaging is absolutely beautiful and so is the blusher. This isn't the one that I wanted, believe it or not. The other ones that I wanted were out of stock and I'm hoping they'll come back into stock when I'm able to order another palette or what have you. This has got an overspray on it. I'm hoping it's just at the top, not all the way through it, of some kind of glitter, which I'm not a fan of, really. So I need to try and do a video, find a video on YouTube of the other ones because if they have an overspray on all of them, I might not get them. But this is what it looks like. Look at the gorgeous packaging. But see how it's got this sort of glitter here? Well, it is kind of all through it. So I'm just going to swatch it for you. This is the shade. Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that shade. That is it just swiped and this is it kind of blended in a bit. Now, I have to say actually, apart from the fact I've got glitter all over my hands anyway, it does look proper stunning. So I cannot wait to try that out. So if you, like myself, are excited to see how I get on and what looks I can do with this Odin Eye palette, please do hit the like button, subscribe to my channel because it's absolutely free, click the bell to be notified of when I next upload. I'm not religious, but if any of you are, send some good prayers my way that I can flip and get a hold of the doctor and see if there is a shift on in me being seen by the pain clinic because I take my hat off to any of you out there that suffer with chronic illness and autoimmune diseases and all that sort of thing that you struggle with on the daily and particularly in a lot of autoimmune diseases that are invisible illnesses because to look at the person, they look absolutely fine. So people are always doing that judgy thing like they do with mental health. But it is so dehabilitating on so many different levels. And I just really do take my hat off to people that suffer with it on the daily. Like there's another lady on YouTube that I watch called Jacqueline Dreiser. And she's got about four or five autoimmune diseases. And... Uh, she is such an inspiration because how she gets up and obviously we only see a little bit of what she shows us and it's mostly of her makeup and that but speaking to her you know the amount of stuff that she struggles with like literally I don't know if you watch my videos Jacqueline or what have you but I take my hat off to you because I am a wimp when it comes to being ill and when it comes to pain and I have been like that my whole entire life I'm nearly 40 and yesterday oh my god I was just like get a gun and shoot me because pff, there was no hope the tiniest little thing like even just sitting up and trying to colour in or something. The tiniest little things like trying to get into the shower, any of that yesterday was just not happening for me. My body was like, nah. No energy, so much pain, just not happening. And it is the most horrible feeling. So I, as I say, I can only imagine how certain people with other chronic illnesses or autoimmune diseases cope particularly when you've got more than one, which is even worse. But anyway, that is enough of that. And in case you're wondering, I went and put the glaze hair stuff, the cherry colour, in my hair today, a couple of hours ago when I was in the bath. Uh, I'm getting low on it, so I'm going to order some, I think from that, is it just my look? Because it seems to be £13 on there. But it's £16 on TikTok shop. See, everybody keeps saying that you get loads of great deals and bargains on TikTok shop. Now, they might have money off, but see, when it comes to paying for it all, they get you with the shipping. So, 
it's good sometimes, but it's not as great as people make out, I would say. Anyway, I've waffled enough, so I'm going to go. And as I say, I don't know when, but at some point there will be videos on these palettes. And when I use the palettes, I will use the blusher. And yeah, thanks for your continued support and I'm away. Bye.